Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. It's Wednesday, about 10 after 10, and I'm here to give, of course, our weekly update. And uh, as you know, I've been trying so hard uh, lately to go around and highlight different companies around town because uh, West Point has a lot to offer. And right now, I am standing in front of um, Medicomp, West Point Physical Therapy. Uh, Dr. Brooke uh, is uh, the owner, and... Uh, uh, she does a fantastic job. So many people in the church come here, and I know a lot of people in the community come here for their physical therapy. So uh, if you're looking and you need something done, come check this place out. I highly recommend it. Heather had some physical therapy here, too. They took really great care of her, and uh, it is, it's, it's awesome. So make sure that you come here for this. Um, now, uh, some of the announcements for this week. We really just have a couple. One is that Sunday morning at 7.30 is the Men's Fellowship Breakfast. Uh, guys, it starts at 7.30, but if you want to help cook and get things ready, then you need to make sure that you contact Tommy, and uh, he can tell you what time to show up and, and help cook and get things ready for that for the breakfast. So uh, make sure that you do that as well. And um, we have Sunday school starting back up this Sunday. Now, like I said, we've got Two adult classes. We got I'm teaching one a class. We got Neil Smith teaching another. He's already got his book. He's already been studying. He's getting ready. Uh, we have all age groups, and I want to tell the all the teachers and remind you, you're preparing for not who we have now, but who we will have in the future. So, and I had to tell someone that this morning that just because you prepared and you come to class and there's no one there this Sunday doesn't mean there won't be someone there next week. So if you're not having anybody in your classrooms to teach, make sure that you check out one of the adult classes uh, to go to. So that's uh, what uh, you need to do. All right, so, and then of course at six o'clock Sunday night is our luau, uh, just a back to school bash, a fun time. Uh, you bring Hawaiian uh, themed beach attire theme or beach theme. Um, and uh, I will have a very short uh, scripture stuff that we will talk about because it's really about just having a big old party uh, to welcome our students back to school and enjoying each other's company. So that is going to be on uh, six o'clock on Sunday night. All right. So scriptures for the day. Um, of course, you know me, I, I love the book of John. And in the book of John, Jesus is talking over and over again about uh, the love that we're supposed to have for our father our Heavenly Father, a love for Him, love for each other. And I wonder how we get so confused sometimes. And then I came across this little paragraph, and I'm going to read just a small portion of the paragraph. But who, who, who do you listen to? And here's the thing. Well, I'll get to the thing in just a moment. But this is what it says. John chapter 8, starting in verse 42. It says, Jesus said to them, he's talking to the disciples, he's talking to all the followers of him. He says this, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and now am here. I have not come from, uh, by my own, but he sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what you say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He is a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Now, here's the thing. And I want you to remember this. That when it comes to hearing the truth, hearing the truth, hearing the truth that Jesus is talking about, and from the apostles and, and from all of the, the, the prophets and, and the teachers and, and so forth, from all the generations, they're speaking the truth to you. And the father of lies sounds almost exactly like the father of truth. He has to. He has to be able to say things to you and to say to, things to everybody in such a close manner to the truth that it's lies. And, and he, he, he confuses us and he changes us. And, and even though we think we're following the father of truth, we're really following the father of lies because that is all that he knows and he wants you to follow him. 
Well, of course, Father wants you to follow him too. But the father of lies, he wants you to follow him. So he's going to twist the truth just enough to make it sound like it's the real truth. Be on guard. Be on guard. Listen carefully to the truth. It's in here. Not what the world says. All right, love you guys. See you Sunday morning. Lots to do Sunday. Have a good time. I'll see you then. All right, bye everybody.